Alrighty, hey guys, welcome back to part two of a pretty much, you know, I stated there was going to be a part one, part two, part three, part four. So this has to do the statements regarding the new multiplayer uh, dev blog. So um, we started off here with the original post and a lot of dev replies. And uh, now we're just going to continue on this thread. And there's a lot more dev replies, a lot more multiplayer info of stuff that's to come and stuff that's in the future and stuff of that nature. So if you didn't watch part one, I'm going to link that down below. Also, if you want to read this for yourself, I'm going to link this uh, thread down below as well. So you guys can go check it out for yourself and read what you have to read or whatever you want to do, right? But uh, yeah, we're going to continue. We're going to keep seeing what the devs have to say. And we're going to go from there. So uh, let's get to the first dev reply with some information. You have something similar in mind. All right, so let's read the question and then see the response. Very promising statement, guys. Thanks for the detailed comments. Uh, thanking all the devs. Do you know if OCE will be uh, supplied with a beta server to test the changes? I really like to participate, and I will uh, advertise it on other. I will advertise it to other clanmates of mine if this is the case, so we can give feedback. I know other o OCE players would be uh, interested in testing the changes as well and giving feedback. Cheers. Uh, I don't know what OCE is. I don't know what that actually means. Okay, but I guess OC won't likely have uh, beta servers, unfortunately. I I can talk to the team and see if we can open a dual server for those who cannot test uh, combat damages. I mean, combat changes. Okay, so there's there's hope. I still don't know what OC is. Is that like community engage? I don't know. Let me know what OC is for somebody who does know in the uh, comments below. Let's go to another question. Is chamber blocking as a concept something that Tail Worlds is still interested in, making a meaningful part of uh, Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord? Chamber blocking. Yes, we definitely want chamber blocking to be more useful and less uh, random mechanic, but it would require us to do an animation overhaul, which we do not have the capacity for at this moment. Uh, what's happening is that it's really hard to make weapons collide in mid-air. Oh, so like let's say you want to block an arrow with an arrow or something like that. Is that kind of what they mean by chamber blocking? When going from blocks to attacks, the uh, blend transition animation is very horizontal. But you want it to be vertical so it collide with an incoming horizontal swing. Oh, kind of, okay, so it doesn't have to just be arrows. So let's say you're swinging and, so, and your enemy is swinging and uh, your attack can actually block his attack by you attacking, not actually blocking. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Because at first chamber, I thought like of a gun or something, but I understand what it means in this situation. So they state that um, for it to really block, something would have to be vertical and something be horizontal. But right now the problem is um, they're, they're both very horizontal. Okay. So we would need to redo all transition animations and have them be vertical. However, some parameters have been tweaked, so that'll be, so they will be a bit more frequent with the combat update. Okay. So it's kind of hard to do right now, but shoot, you never know in the future, right? Uh, we got another one. Will the damage bonus for a hold attacks be implemented? Uh, the bonus always existed. It is very slight. Heavy attack momentum multiplier is set to 1.2, meaning heavy attacks, the ones you hold longer, will have 1.2, their usual momentum, which is used to calculate damage, among other things. Okay, so if you hold an attack and then, you know, obviously let it go, You'll get a little bonus, not a huge bonus, and I think that's that's fine. I think that's fine. Um, well, you get you'll get a bonus to momentum, and then momentum is used to calculate damage. So therefore, you know what I mean, kind of indirectly affects uh, damage. Uh, let's see what else is being talked about. That's of relevance. Can I just say this all sounds brilliant? I have been consistent on this forum for the last month saying we need to hold out for this patch. It can slash should be a game changer. I'm glad to see it looks like like it will be uh, vindicated. Service stability alone will do uh, tons for the population consistency. True, true. Because last time I did try to play the multiplayer, I got absolutely, um, I don't know what happened. I couldn't play it for some reason. But uh, hopefully that is all easier to use after this update obviously is this still being worked on is what's still being worked on 
First step will be making uh, the use of the leveling system and adding way more badges. Okay, so you can like level up in uh, multiplayer and then get badges for it. They said, is it still being worked on? And the, and the dev says it is, but it's more cosmetic changes, so not high priority as you might guess. Okay. The next person says, yes, they are being worked on. We wanted to get the combat and troop changes out first, and the progression system will come afterwards. There you go. So uh, first is going to be the combat and troop changes, and then they're going to do more like progression, probably get that ranked system out as well. That would be good to see. But all right, makes sense. Lowering the amount of uh, throwing weapons would be big. They have done this. I already know that this 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 answer is about to say the same thing. I'm about to say they have done this in a way. They've changed some of um, some characters how much they actually have, and some characters uh, some characters got rid of like for some characters they got rid of throwing weapons and gave it to other characters and stuff of that nature. So uh, the Des replied, "This has happened to an extent. It is not exactly where we wanted yet, but um, we will get there in the following patches." So it's a start, but they're going to get to it, right? As long as the Azurai toned down, the rest is pretty manageable. Are there any changes to uh, Batanian Wildling? Just a simple yes or no. Don't need to go into details. It's my favorite class. Okay, let's see if they reply to that. Uh, I hope you know what you're doing and not just following the whiners demand. Who stated that? Um, I don't know what that was stated. But all right. As I mentioned in the post, we didn't go on, we didn't go the direct route uh, of just nerfing them into the ground by making uh, cavalry deal less damage and make horses slower slash less maneuverable or whatever. We tried to keep um, the fun of it, but just gave infantry more tools to punish cavalry since they were since that was definitely a problem. So playing that class will become more skillful. But if you want to play well, uh, but if you can play well. Then you can reach a similar amount of effectiveness. Okay, so pretty much, you know, it's not easy mode when you play cavalry now. Like, they kind of want to make it like, you still have to like, if you're going to play cavalry, don't think you're just above everyone else. You can still get countered hard if you don't know what you're doing. So, yeah, it makes sense. On top of the combat changes, there will be some uh, class changes to cavalry as well. Though, about equipment and price. Okay. That is the right way to go about it. The only things broken about cavalry are the ease of... Uh, Couching and, and the way dismounts work sometimes every other problem which cab is actually an issue with uh, With infant oh, okay, that's infantry sorry uh, So every other problem with cavalry is actually an issue with infantry not having tools to deal with them Cavalry uh, versus cavalry is the strongest aspect of combat right now. Okay Cool idea we got um Sweet, at the same time promising. Okay. What? Okay, so someone asked, what's uh, what sort of servers will we get with it? We will post about details about beta servers when patch is released. Current plan is to have the same system running on live with all backend services. So there will be matchmaking, custom games, clan games, and private games, dual servers, and maybe an event uh, server. Only exception is... OCE region will uh, only have a 40 per... Okay, so OCE is actually a region. There you go. And answer my question. Oceanic? Is that what it is? I didn't know what it was at first, but... So the other person was talking about oceanic players that live in that uh, region. Okay, that makes sense. Mm, what else do we got? We got another question here. If I may ask, what mechanics were added to cavalry gameplay? Uh, do horses not bounce back from walls and objects anymore? Will the angle from which you can stop the horse with spears be widened? Basically, the things the community has been asking for. I'm pretty uh, enthused, and I am looking forward to the combat patch. It seems like it will finally be a step in the right direction. Also, appreciate all the uh, replies and responses. It's way better than early in beta and after the EA release. Keep it up. That's wholesome. Running full speed straight into a wall at a very steep angle causes rearing. What do they mean by rearing? Is that like damage or like... Okay. Like rear... What is rearing? Is that like a horse? Is that a horse term? Horse rearing. Am I tripping? I think that's a horse term. Yeah, that's like when they lift their legs up, their, their front legs up, and they and they kind of like push the rider off 
if the rider doesn't have a good grip or something like that. Okay, I knew it. Well, I was close. But uh, so yeah, it's gonna cause rearing where the horse pretty much stands up on its back two legs and its front two legs go up. That's pretty much what rearing is. We also adjusted spear rearing angles and bumping and knocking down speeds. Okay. Uh, we were trying to keep all the things that make Cav feel pow powerful and fun to play while introducing weaknesses and punishment for bad decisions. There it is. Hallelujah. I'm happy to see these changes. All right. Uh, increased right. And he says, thinking emoji. All righty. Let's move on. What else we got here? Any more dev replies? Looking for them dev replies. I need to be balanced separately. All right, here we go. Uh, at this point, we've all been waiting for uh, a long time for this new update. Quite frankly, the more I read about it, the more I get hyped. Uh, we know it's going to be soon, but when? But when that is? Okay. Internal tests are still going on for the next updates, so I don't think it will be this week for your information. There it is. There it is. Uh, bring your bad news. I'm weak. They always got A. They always have, um, I call him C because I think I'm pronouncing his name wrong. You've told me before that I have been pronouncing his name wrong. Whatever. He's always the guy who, who, who they always bring out to be like, it's coming soon. He's always the guy who has to take all the flack for um, saying that it's coming soon. Feels bad, man. Listen. You know, he's being honest. That's the, that's the best that he can do. He's being honest. <laughs> All right. Uh, any more dev replies? What in the world? Nothing there. Got a lot of discussion. Good to see. Oh, we got a big post here. All right. So I think there are solid arguments to both sides of the debate. To be honest. Okay. So here we go. So what is the uh? Let's look at the two sides. Most of Warband's equipment choices was an illusion, but it was something that was in the hands of the players, allowing them to make their own decisions. Admittedly, I was always a big fan of just running down with throwing weapons and uh, forging armor with a proper uh, melee weapon to do that. And it was a lot of fun in a casual setting. In high level play though, most pieces of equipment were ignored, or at least that is, that is my understanding of it. On the other hand, the clan system simply removes most of these non-choices and allows you to just jump in and play on a more level playing field. Uh, but at the same time, it does take away some of the fun of mixing and matching gear to suit your own play style. Okay. I'm trying to see. So they talking about like how you can pick random armor against, you know, picking a set class. I'm just thinking out loud uh, here, but it is possible that a lot of the frustration actually stems from the lack of visual um, customization, like being able to show off your silly car uh, character face or running around shirtless as a statement of your melee powers, uh, or just to pick uh, what you think looks cool. Okay, so maybe, so people, so I'm guessing the, um, the discussion was, yeah, the swapping or discarding of gear. Okay, so I'm guessing in banner look, because I, like I told you before, I haven't even played multiplayer yet, but um, I tried. It didn't work. But uh, <laughs> so I guess the argument is that you know some people want to be able to like swap weapons and armors or like discard them. Uh, but right now it's just classes. Like you can pick a class, and that's what comes with it. Is that kind of what the issues is? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Uh, the infrastructure is very questionable why it's not implemented. The infrastructure of what? So visual customization is, uh, is on the eight types of fun. Obviously, it's only cosmetic. They cry over and over again. Cosmetics are a form of expression and progression. The infrastructure is very questionable why it's not implemented. Uh, so he's asking why it's not implemented. Okay. It is something that we have said that we would consider and explore at some point, but with it being just a visual thing, it's quite a low priority. Understandable. Uh, who else we got? We got a lot of discussions, Jesus. 
Okay, so what do we got here? Splitting uh, the classes between uh, splitting the class balances between skirmish and captain modes. Pros: changes to one uh, mode doesn't ruin the other mode. Gameplay variety is increased. More choices are possible. Uh, wait a minute. Splitting the class between skirmish and captain modes. Okay, allows more ambitious classes on. Content is specially tailored to make each game mode more enjoyable. Easy to easily to do. Easy, I can't read, sorry. Easy to distinguish between um, the two game mode types. Less arguing about balance changes between the two player bases. Changes can be more uh, direct and impactful. Batania uh, would be stuck at a 19% win rate for over three months in captain mode because the devs fear uh, making an equipment changes due to the impact. Due to the impact it would have on skirmish mode, cons, players have to learn a different set of classes slash perk op choices when they go to skirmish to captain developers have to write new code which takes time and requires effort to be taken away from other projects okay what, what is what is this for splitting the splitting the class balances between skirmish oh, oh okay okay so he's talking pretty much how um when developers do make changes that um, there are two different changes depending on what mode you talk about, you know. So they don't have the same like classes don't have the same benefits and negatives, I guess, in skirmish and in captain mode. Like they're two different things. And he's stating all the pros of that and all the uh, cons, right? Like it, it's bad for the developers because they have to do it, you know, for each single mode and stuff like that. Plus players have to learn a different set of perks and skills or whatever. And uh, why it's good is it doesn't really, you know, it affects each game mode differently and in the right way, if that kind of makes sense. Uh, would you think different perk options and, and troop count differences be enough or would it require more separate balancing? Okay, so there you go, asking the community. Uh, let's see. Are you talking about the different perks for Skirmish and Captain? I think that would change everything. I proposed such changes when multiplayer beta was still running. Some classes and skirmish items, for example, pikes on shock infantry are never played in skirmish. And while I'm not active in captain at the moment, I had great success with um, uh, shock infantry and pikes as a cav defense and captain. Okay, so he's saying like, you know, certain stuff that works in this doesn't work in the other uh, mode. Okay. I'm still expecting official main menu polls on various issues upon logging into multiplayer or something akin to old school RuneScape poll booth. That sounds like a nice idea. I will forward it to the team. Sounds good. Any more replies? Are we good to end off this video? We got a little bit more. So min-maxing passively uh, happens with the perk system too. For example, I would... I would never take anything but strong bow and strong arrows on an archer because that is how you maximize my range threat while not taking any uh, melee weapon perks minimizes my melee potential. My personal less my personal less I can't read. My personal least favorite are the range unit perks at the moment. Expect some serious changes in the following patches. Ooh. I'm getting some nerfs to archer perks. Either nerfs or buffs, or it looks like nerfs, to be honest with you, since they're not very uh, liked right now, right? We'll see how that goes. Oh, uh, and I think that's about it for now, boys. Oh, we got one more, one more. And then we're going to sign off for this one. So it looks like it's going to be a two-part series. Unless they uh, do post more in here, then I'll make a part three for it. Just to let you guys know. Uh, so, um... At this dev that's replying, do you think uh, we'll be able to see a patch going on live servers in the following two weeks? Like spectator mode would be pretty uh, juicy since there's a semifinals already on Beast Tournament. Spect a spectator mode will not be in this immediate patch, unfortunately. It will be in the following patch. Tough. Uh, he didn't answer the first question, so who knows? But like I said before, I predict that the, um, the new patch will be sometime this month before the month ends. Don't hold me, you know what I'm saying, to my word. Take it with a grain of salt, but 
pretty much what I've read about the developers and um, what previous developers have stated, that's what it looks like. But alrighty, boys, that was part two. We looked at some more dev replies. Uh, got some more info on the multiplayer changes. And yeah, I'm, like I said before, I am going to make a part three if they uh, do answer more questions and stuff of that nature. But like always, ask, ask me any questions, any concerns, and uh, stay safe.